guys, this is HP. Uh, you may think uh, similar to Hewlett Packard. Yes. But actually, it's horsepower. Yeah. Remember yeah. that. <laughs> Oi, take off your mask. Oh, oh take off. Yeah, we are. No, no shift, no shift. So, um, you can go to his channel. Uh, it's pretty shit now. But if you go there, it may be a little bit less shit after that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Subscribe a little bit. Uh, um, he does some car videos, but his his car videos are so bad shit crazy, right? I don't even know whether it's a review or whatsoever. It's no, not. It's not. just it's like him wanking to a refrigerator. Weird, that kind of weird. Okay, that's 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 his <laughs> his videos. Yes. Okay. So um, uh, unfortunately, we are colleagues. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. So this is a my V Malaysia's. Uh, most what, what most one? favorite supercar. Uh, they call it a supercar yes. of Malaysia. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So HP has been driving. Oh, uh, sorry, horsepower Tan has been driving his Myvi for how many years? Uh, more than five. More than five years. Yes. And the car has accumulated a series of evidence that shows that he doesn't love his car <laughs> at all. Zero, zilt. Nothing! There's no love! No love! Okay? Speed bumps? Oh, there was a speed bump behind! I realize it! You know, that's how they treat speed bumps! Uh, the doors are ding! And um, he couldn't be bothered. Alright? Um, yeah. Were you at one point last time more hardworking in cleaning your cars? No, we just turned right. Oh, yes, sir. Were you, were you more active in cleaning your cars last time? Last time you mean this car? Yeah. No. No, not at all. So you've never loved this car? I I love it during my uni time, but okay. now... <laughs> <laughs> sorry to say that, sorry. So. He's a piece of shit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so there's no love. So, um, this year, he wanted to go enduro with his own car. And okay, okay, okay. Let's not let's not talk about that first. Uh, the general progression path yep. from a my V would be name a few. Name a few. Yeah. Civic, Civic. Oh, oh, street oh, 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 city, 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 <laughs> city, Vios, uh, Forte, or even uh, uh, maybe a uh, Honda Jazz. What the fuck? G thirty five series. One hit lamb gone. Not on <laughs> German cars, German cars anyway. Yes. <laughs> so that's the usual normal progression. Yeah. But you oh, yeah, city. You saw it, right? Mm. Uh, can I ask most of your friends? Is that where what 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 they are buying now? Yes. Okay, your closest friends. My closest friends. What cars they drive now? Uh, the most that I sat in is uh, either a Saga, a Vios, Vios. Vios, 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 Vios. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh. Four series. Yep. Four thirty i. Yep. Do you know what's the price now? About hundred k. Civic price. Oh. <laughs> Civic price. <laughs> yep. Four series. Yep. Anyway. So, uh, which one have you decided to go for? Lexus. <laughs> the, the Street Fighter one. Who <laughs> No, no, no. no, no. I don't get... uh, Yeah, an actual Lexus. Okay. IS 250. Ooh, ooh. So, does the IS 250 live up to your horsepower name? Or not? Definitely. What's, yes. the, what's the horsepower? 204. Really? Uh? Yeah. Got 204? Yes. Yes. More horsepower than an FD2R. Yes. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it 197. Oh, okay. Okay. Who <laughs> <laughs> you? Yeah. Okay. Zero to hundred, about six, six and a, six something lah. Seven sub seven. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Six ah. Yeah. Maybe sub seven. I wouldn't say six. Maybe yeah. Maybe yes. 
Okay. But definitely faster than eight. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Seven is faster than eight. <laughs> yep. So, um, Lexus IS 250. Yeah. When when was the year you fell in love with this car? More than eight years. More but, than eight years. But that was the uh, the performance variant. ISF lah. Yep. Yep. Will you buy an ISF now if if there is one at eighty thousand? Wow. Will you buy ISF? Given the the cost now, is it? Yeah, yeah, eighty thousand. Even just now, wow. You went and look at the IS two fifty, right? Is uh, of course it's less than eighty thousand. Yes. But let's say there is an ISF at eighty thousand Vios price. Will you buy at this juncture? I will sell another car. Sell another car. Yes. Okay. To buy the ISF. Yes. Rotex. <laughs> <laughs> because. That is the exact price. Okay, you have to keep this lane, the Tuareg's lane, and then we continue straight. Because the eighty thousand is the exact price of an E sixty M five, which has the same engine displacement as the ISF, right? Five yep. liter V eight. Five liter V eight. Mm. Except the ISF has a lot less horsepower, lah. Four seventy. Yes. Okay, lah. Thirty horsepower less only, lah. Okay, lah. Okay. The M five is five hundred, lah. Okay, okay. Only 30 horsepower, but the M5 will be workshop more often. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, any one of you with an ISF, when you decide to sell your car, of, co of course HP won't lowball you at 80,000. Nah, I won't, I won't, I won't. Yeah, yeah. But you can't sell too high either. By yeah, it's just a So, uh, So, what have you just done just now? I've just done the first processing part of purchasing a car. No, oh. you, you have just took one little step towards your ISF, right? True, true. Because true. even though you bought an IS250, no, not yet, not yet. Clearly it's booking. Clearly it's booking, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's one step closer to your dream. Yes. So will you white body your car to look like an ISF? I can buy the F batch for you. <laughs> uh. Won't, won't be so soon nah. Won't be so soon? That means he might do it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> okay, uh, go up here. Oh, go up, then traffic light turn right. Yep, yep. Um, so... Uh, but most most people around your age will be thinking, No! no way. It's a used car. Yeah. Maintenance. Maintenance. Things like that. Right? Uh. They'll be thinking, my, my Honda City wiper is 90 ringgit. Lexus the wiper might be 9,000 ringgit. True. <laughs> so are you worried about all that? For the most part, it's still, oh, it's still a Toyota. Yeah, that's a Lexus GS. Maybe we can go closer. Exactly. GS 300. Actually, yep. this GS looks really good. You know? yep. I think the design of this is more unique than the one that came after this. Yep, yep, yep. Show you guys. Show you, show you. This one. This is the one after the, the famous Aristo Lexus GS. Nice. But many of them say it doesn't live up to the expectation. Nah. To what? To the, you know, the boss feeling. You mean many of them meaning what? The UK reviews? Uh, the car reviews? I mean, I saw comments also from others, owners review. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did they say? What's, they say, what's the problem about the car? They say, not gangster enough. It's supposed to be a bigger car than the IS, more comfortable, and that's it, right? Yeah. Mm. So you've always loved Lexus, right? Yeah, all this while. All this while. Is it the design or what? Um, I think this one I, I I might be a bit careful on this because I don't really don't want to. Trigger a bunch of uh, German cars. No, go us. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, to be I'm honest. I'm a German car owner here. Yes, uh, to okay. be honest. Uh, the, the reliability is the first thing that came into my mind. Okay. Because I I wouldn't want to drive my car to go somewhere when, when I go in to see some nice scenery, somehow the car just, you know, have issue. Yeah. Then yeah. 
helpless lah. I I I scared. I scared. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's mainly for the reliability. But that's part of it. Then mm -hmm. the second one would be the profitship. Okay. If you don't believe you can go see it for yourself, mm. like what Bobby just experienced, mm. you can compare uh, 10 years Lexus, 10 years BMW, mm. all the parts, all the touching point, they are still very, very, you know, you, you, you already saw it. What? Well, that's not my first time in the Lexus. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these are the things. Uh. Yeah, what about yeah. the design? Design. Design. Actually design I would prefer the German more than more than Japanese car. Uh. Mm -hmm. For now, for now. Okay. But I don't know. No no you look at the new ones all over shit. Audi BMW yeah. Mercedes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday that one you guys should know the four series. Wow. wow. I think the only good looking one now is Volvo. Yeah, true. True. Oh, true. Alright. So HP took the step. You know, as Evo, Evo Club, Horizon, we always tell you guys, you know, there are so many good cars out there, blah blah. And um, our brother here did it. Did it. Yes. But maybe the maybe the bank not happy with you. <laughs> right? Maybe the bank don't want to pass your boat. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So are you looking forward to it? Yes, very, very good. Can't wait to to lick your car. <laughs> to bring okay, I wanna do a do a confession. Mm. Last time when I bring this car, whenever Bobby's have some uh, car meets with a bunch of people at Togela, Genting or coffee session or whatever, this is the car that I could never enjoy. I could never catch up with them. So I feel a bit left out. Even for the photo session I need to, you know, somehow I need to park somewhere so that I, I don't ruin the pictures, you know, that kind of feeling. That's just your own feeling. That's ah. my own feeling. That's my own feeling. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not, I'm not here feeling. to offend any <laughs> IV owners. It's okay, just, okay. just me, just me, uh -huh, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, let's say you didn't buy a Lexus. Yeah. Let's say you bought uh, an EG Civic Bullet for 30000 A well-taken cat one. Or a Toyota Sierra yep. for twenty five thousand. Yep. You won't feel that way, right? I won't feel that way. You will proudly put your yes. car. Yes. The photographer might ask you to put your car in the middle. Yes. Ask you open your door. Yes. Right. Yes. That's the difference. That's the difference. It's not the price. It's not the brand. Right. Never. It's whether during a car guy meet, you have a car guy car or not. I think that's that's the difference. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like if you go to a, a, a professional photography class but then you bring your expensive small little cute light car <laughs> and everyone is with <laughs> you might want to get out of their way right? even though your light car is expensive but yeah. it's not so I'm happy for you thanks I'm happy for you and uh... <laughs> so if, 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 if the bank wants wants me to be guarantor how will you come and let me know I, I will okay okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Alright guys, we're now going into here, here, the left. Okay. Go down P2 down. Yep, 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 yep. We're now going to another car guy place. Yes. Yep. P2. Okay. Maso. Maso. Yep. So when you when you got your car, what's the first thing you would do? I would wash it. Okay. And then Maybe late night I will bring the car up to yourself. Ah. You go yourself. Ah. Ah, him. <laughs> Your first video, please lick the exhaust, please lick the rim, the tire, please lick everything, okay? <laughs> anyway, the car is immaculate, let me tell you guys. Nine year old car, alright? No, it was 2011 made by 2012 registered, so it's technically an eight year old car. Yeah. It is immaculate. The, the, the entire car has zero signs of wear and tear. It's just amazing. Yeah. And uh, I hope you treat that car better than how you treat this car. I will. I will. Later, this car will break down. <laughs> you want to join me? Go in. Okay. 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 See you guys. See you. So I'm here again to pick up my car. Uh, let's get it started. Ugh. 
it's always nice to view it from here. So as you all know, this car has gone through the uh, signature detailing process at Auto Detailer where they clean up every single thing. You saw all these little holes here? Every single one of them, they clean and polished it. Alright? Even this. Okay, so it has gone through that. It has, it has also gone through the CMA uh, Medic where the disinfection, where it proves that it will kill COVID-19 and all that. And it has the, the lovely Spectra tint, right, that they have applied. A very, very high definition tint. What, what I mean by high definition? Tinting actually would distort your visual a little bit, but this is like sunglasses kind of clarity, okay? And it has very, very good heat rejection. And one last thing is this. The headlamp restoration and PPF. Now you see my headlamp is a lot clearer. So what they have done is that they give it a fantastic cleanup. It looks like I changed to a new set of headlamps. Okay, and it's so so wonderful in terms of the finishing. And you can't tell from here because Auto Detailer when they apply their PPF film you will not be able to find where it is or whether they have applied it at all because unlike others that have a cut line over here what they do whenever they wrap either their bumper or your headlamp and all that right they actually have all the professionals and the tool kits here they have the full set of tool kits to just about remove any car so when they apply a PPF film right they don't just do it by cutting one slice and then apply it on top and then you can see the lines over here because that would actually collect dirt so their usual process is to remove the entire headlamp and before you do that of course all the other bits have to go and wrap the PPF film behind it so no matter how close you look at it you will not be able to find where is the film Right? Even if, if they wrap the bumpers and every part, right, you will not be able to find it because that's how they do their stuff. Right? All their customers' cars, when they wrap the films, they remove every single body panel and wrap it, then they put it back. Okay? So it's very, very different. It's a very, very different process from all the others out there. Okay? Of course, uh, it costs more, but it's also because of the great film and of course with the workmanship all right so yep i'm happy why is this important because headlamps are extremely expensive and unlike your windscreen your windscreen has a separate insurance coverage what i mean is this let's say you have a 55 percent ncb warranty uh, insurance discount on your car and your car's insurance costs, let's say, 10,000 ringgit, right? You, want, you would want to keep your 55% because if you claim on a windscreen, you may have, you know, uh, remove your NCB discount. And it's not worthwhile to, re to, to, to have your NCB cancelled just because of a few thousand ringgit. That's why windscreen has a separate insurance. When you crack your windscreen, you can replace it with your windscreen insurance without affecting the NCB of your car but there are no separate insurance coverage for headlamps if you crack your headlamp and it's 8,000 ringgit you're like do I pay or do I claim right because if you pay it's, it's painful if you claim it's not worthwhile because you may have an uh, insurance coverage for a car that is 200,000 or 300,000 right 
So that's why I highly, highly recommend those of you who likes to go driving and all that, spend that money to protect your headlamp. Each headlamp is easily a few thousand ringgit to replace them, right? Uh, give you an example, uh, Honda City or Honda HRV, the headlamps are 3,000 plus, right? An Aston like this, the headlamps are easily more than 10,000 ringgit. So for me, I know I need to, I'm going to go do a lot of driving, especially Evo Enduro. These PPFs here, headlamp coverage, only 2,000 ringgit to protect it. I think that's a very, very fair price. Especially their workmanship is so good. It doesn't collect dirt. Let's say you, you wrap it at some other places where they cut the piece here, they put it on top, they apply it on top. Let's say your film is still working fine, but it has begun collecting dirt. Then you are in a dilemma. It's still working well, but it looks like crap. Do you remove it? You already paid for it. So the way they wrap it, they wrap it from underneath, which means you can't find where they have wrapped it. You just cannot find. Right? Alright. So, yeah. Uh, anything else you need to know? Uh, Auto Detailer, I put the links over here. These guys know their stuff. Alright? Cheers. Yep. So, it is always, always a joy and pleasure to come by here. Um, <laughs> auto detailer. So, uh, yeah. It's the, it's the way they take care of your car, you know. It's not. It's no longer just about, uh, you know, the, the, the detailing or whatever. It's, but it's, it's really, they, they are like your, your, your car's, I don't know, family doctor or what. But basically, they really take good care of your car and um, they help you check everything. It's not just, it's not just cleaning it and I uh, call it a day off. No, no, no. They, they would be able to tell you things that they are not supposed to do. I mean, well, I don't mean not supposed to, right? People come here technically just to clean up their cars, but these guys, they, they, they know their stuff, so they don't just clean, right? They notice anything and then they'll go get it sorted for you. No! Rain! <laughs> uh, well, in a way, you can't stop rain, but... Can just rest assured that uh, the pebbles will go off better. Thank you. That's a Hyundai i30 N. Woohoo! Lovely. It's nice to see people being very daring in buying cars, you know? And that's an example. i30 N. I hope they can finally start allowing us to cross states. Because I don't see a point. I don't see a point that... Look at this. All of us are still driving on the road, we're still going where we go, doing what we do. Um, it's just that technically speaking, we did not cross the states. But what's the, what's the difference driving from, let's say, um, Putrajaya into uh, Seremban, you know? versus Putrajaya 
driving to Chanjong Malim, right? Seremban is just next door to Putrajaya, but is but technically we cannot do that because it's cross states. But Putrajaya can drive all the way to Tanjung Malim because it's considered the same state. It, it no longer makes sense. Once we are open up, you know, people are out there uh, moving about, let's just open it up and let economy flow back, you know. Let everything return to normal as soon as possible because it no longer makes sense, right? So, uh, yeah, I think it's about time for us to get back to where we are, everybody work hard and uh, maintain a focus of positivity because the economy will come back, you know, all of us will, will come back because at the end of the day, economy means you buy my stuff, I buy your stuff, that's it. Money flows, as long as money flows, none of these cells or organs of what made up a country will die, right? Money is like the blood that flows around. So, yeah, I wish everybody uh, a happy ending to MCO. Uh, I just announced it first before the PM announced it. Uh, let's just end it. It no longer makes sense. Let's just open it up. Let our country resume normalcy. All right? Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.